Hello my YouTube fam out there. I hope you enjoyed my earlier video of me doing my penny re-up. But as you can see what's in front of me right now is a 1922 piece dollar. I mean, I like how they did the artwork on it, the crown, and I mean all the artwork on this is really nice. <coughs> then you flip it over. Yes, I'm trying to keep it on the plastic thing with bobber. <laughs> And you can see it says United States of America, E plus Union, one dollar, and right down there, which is really faded out, you can't really see it that well. It says peace. So <clears throat> let's take a good look at this in the big screen, shall we? Here, in fact, I'll flip over something so you can see it better. I mean, let's see what you got. Her beautiful crown, right? It says liberty on it, has scratches on it, has other dings on it, of course. And yes, where it says TRVST, it actually says that I'm on the coins because <laughs> I don't know why they put the V on there. I guess they couldn't put the U, but it does say that on the coins. And God we trust. 1922. She's a bit dirty. And then on the back. I mean, let's see. Let's start on this side. We got United States of America. E Pluribus Unum. One dollar. And right down there, if you look really close, it says peace on it. Peace. So, as with all my, all my other stuff, I always do a magnet test. This is to show you that real American coins are not magnetic. If they stay to a magnet, then they're not real. This is supposed to be one ounce of silver. Here's my other scale. This is a zero sin. It weighs point, I can't get it on there, sorry guys. There you go, point eight three eight oh three oh of an ounce. So let's go to grams. 16 grams is an ounce. Sorry, 28 grams is an ounce. And it, this is why I don't use this scale that much. It's hard to see the. Uh, let's just say it says 22.80 grams with this weighs, which means it weighs 6 grams shy. Okay, I guess I have to get the correct angle, but it weighs 6 grams shy, give or take, of a full ounce. But. Besides that minor imperfection right there of the weight being different. Yes, I got these little coin holders. It's pretty cool. I like them. They work. But you still got to say, eh, it's beautiful for a 1922 piece silver dollar. Front and back. I like that. That's sweet. But here's the information on this. Their peace dollar was released into circulation on January 3rd, 1922 in common with all silver and copper nickel dollar coins struck from 1840 to 1978. The peace dollar had a diameter of 1.5 inches, which was larger than the mints subsequently struck modern dollar coins. So now there's the modern dollar coins are a little bit smaller than this. From what from the information I've gathered, and then the, there's another question on here saying, "Are the peace dollars rare?" 1922 peace dollar was the last of the series to be issued in a proof format, and may uh, and not many were struck, so they are rare and worth more than any mint state. Uh, counterpart, unlike the circulation strikes in the 1922 proof piece dollar, 
are found in both high relief and low, low relief. So to answer your question, is this coin rare? It is. It's uncertain what this coin is worth because as you saw, it is actually pretty worn down a lot. But it's still a beautiful coin. So always search your pockets, search your house for any change may stu stuck in your walls because I've heard people actually tearing down walls and find, having just coins roll out of the walls. So check everywhere and if you get a coin like this or any other beautiful coin like the Morgans I've shown you, um, put them in your pockets, see how much they're worth, get them graded, see if they're in good condition, and see if you can make some money on them. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.